guys it's Laura thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will show you how I make my pickled mushrooms this is an old family recipe and it is a little bit different than the pickled mushrooms you might be used to from stores because what I know from the stores here in Austria they mostly sell them only in salt water or they are pickled in oil but these are different they taste a little bit like pickles so sweet and sour. So this is something you will most likely not find in stores and that's why I thought it would be awesome to share this recipe with you. So if you want to know how I make my pickled mushrooms, then please keep watching. Here we have the mushrooms that I have used today, chanterelles and portobellos. Oh, we have a snout. Hercules is checking on the carrots and onions, both sliced, and I also have here my spice mix. The exact recipe with all measurements and amounts is written down below in the description box. Again, a doggy snout checking out the sugar and the salt, but don't worry, he doesn't lick it, he just sniffs on it. Then we have here stevia sweetener, and last but not least, regular vinegar, and a snout. First, I washed my mason jars out with hot water and let them cool off. Once they were cool enough, I put in each glass a few onion and a few carrot slices. I mostly prepare more glass jars than necessary, because it's often hard to judge how many you really need, to be honest. So don't be surprised if you do this and you won't fill them all. Next, I filled a large pot with water and vinegar and added all ingredients and spices according to the recipe, which you will find in the description box, as I have already mentioned, and then I let it cook for a few minutes. At the same time, I cooked my mushrooms shortly. I only let the water boil, I left the shroomies in for about a minute and then I strained them. Next, I started to fill the mushrooms in my jars. And then I filled all jars with the vinegar mixture. Once that was all done, I closed the jars properly. I put a large pot on the stove with a cotton sheet on the bottom and filled it with water only so high that when I put the jars in the water wouldn't reach the lids. So you might want to pour a bit of the water away once the jars are in. And then I let all cook for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes I carefully removed the jars wearing an oven mitt so that I wouldn't burn myself. Then I put in the remaining glass jars and added a bit of water. Then the jars need to cool down. You will occasionally hear a pop, which is the sound the lid makes as it sucks tighter to the jar when the air inside of the glass jar cools down, so that's perfectly normal. Well, and then my pickled mushrooms were done. I had some vinegar mixture left, so I picked leftover celery and bell peppers, and as you can see, the snout approved. Once you're done, and once the glasses are completely cooled off, you could theoretically open one and try them immediately, but I would definitely recommend to wait for at least two or three days so that the taste can fully develop. There is one thing I should also mention and that is that the liquid will turn oily so the consistency will change a little bit and that's perfectly normal so there's nothing to be afraid of and that's all I have to say. So I hope that you liked today's video. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends and give it a thumb up. You can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet, that would be awesome. And you can also follow me on Instagram. All of my Instagram accounts are linked down below together with another recipes and food diaries. I have linked down below also several playlists that might be interesting for you. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye.